Good morning. We're going to do another shop mustache. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's kind of a Valentine's look. Let's begin with eyes. I'm going to put the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extend eye base on as my eyeshadow eye base. <laughs> I'm going to use the eye base as eye base. And I'm using my fingers again. I don't know why I've been using my fingers for this step lately. Prior to coming in here cutting on the camera, I used a moisture mask so that this makeup, makeup look would be pretty. All right, I think I just rubbed my contact off my eye. Wow. That's always fun. All right, I got my eye, my contact back in my eyeball. All right, the eye base is on and while fopping around with my contact, my eye base had an opportunity to set up. Let's begin with, I'm going to take some Inglot shadows today. I'm going to take this nudie pink one. I'll put in the description box what these are. They're magnetized in and I can't get them out. And this is an E35. I bought these Inglot shadows at one of the makeup stores in LA when I was there for a workshop for my makeup business. So I had fun standing over the shadows putting together this, this look. I mean this palette. It's a long time ago. They might not even make these anymore. I do not know, but anyway, this is a pale matte nude, uh, pinky, pinky nude. Then this one is a purple or an indigo or something like, ooh, it's soft. I went in there ham. Okay, I'm going to have to dot it at first. And I'm going in a little bit inside the uh, the pink, the nudie pink, like so. This purple kicks up a lot. Well, it does. There's no need to be timid about saying it. All right, so it just gives it a hazy, a hazy look. I may come back to that. Well, yeah, I may come back to that. But for now, I'm done with that. I pulled out the Jaclyn Hill palette in honor, my original one, in honor of her new one that's coming out. And I'm going to use the purple that's in it. And I'm putting it on the outside corner. And I'm going to draw out like this from the very corner of my eye. Get it good, get it good and purpley out here. And I'm bringing this up on the outside in the direction of my lashes like that. Let's do the other side. I guess to describe this look or my color choices, I just went through and pulled out purples and pinks. Uh, the, I guess the theme would be, or the inspiration would be the little heart candies that have the little messages on them. I do like those. If I were to eat 
uh, candy on Valentine's Day. I might would eat that. But I haven't had a piece of candy in several years. And I remember the last time I got Valentine's candy, it was still left unwrapped, untouched. I hadn't even taken the cellophane off the box the next Valentine's Day. So I, point being is I don't eat sugar anymore. At all. I'll put that on the inside. But anyway, the point was, it, this is inspired by the little heart candies. They look like they're made out of the same thing as sweet tarts, but they're not tart, they're sweet. All right, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and blow that out. Now I'm gonna take this Kabuki Magic palette from MAC and I'm gonna use the pinky, pinky one that's in there. I'm gonna put that on the front and kind of blend it into the purples. I have a couple of subscribers that really dig purple, so you should like this look. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the and I didn't add any more to this brush. I'm just dragging it in. Okay, I'm going to do eyebrows since it presented itself. Ooh, we're down to the nitty gritty on this one. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette. I'm going to comb that through. Make sure I got that tail good. Okay, so I have the brows on. And so far we have purples and pinks. I'm going to take the pink from this fetish palette from Kat Von D. And run it along the border of that purple. It is very pigmented. I mean, I barely dipped that in there. And I'm still using that E35. Alright, let's do an eyeliner. I'm going to do black. And I'm going to take my Smashbox Always On. And I'm going to draw it across my lash line. Really tight in close to my lashes. And I'm going to come up from my bottom lash line right here, like that. There's the top baby wing. Now let's do the other side. I'm gonna come up from the bottom lash line I'll be right back. I have to answer the phone. I'm lining it close to my lash line. All right, there's the black liner. Let's move on. I could clean up underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to do foundation. I need a wet sponge. Hold on. 
I'm going to use the Dior Forever again today. So it's going to be a beautiful day. And Taco and I are going to go. I am not going to bar or yoga today. I'm going to get some things. I would like to go, but I don't have time today. I have some things I have to accomplish. And one of which is taking a nice stroll with Taco in the sunshine. I'm going to use, let's see, let's do some under eye concealer. Clean up that underneath. I think that under eye concealer will be what changes this from looking like I've been beat up to a cute eye look. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I'm going to use my favorite F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma. Make sure it's clean. I've done a lot of bronzy looks lately. So Taco and I, like I said, are going to get out and take a nice stroll in the sunshine. I'm going to Sally's today to pick up some Manny Petty supplies. I'm going to take y'all with me to do that. I know, give, give, never take. Yeah, I'm done going to get my nails done. She, no, she didn't do anything wrong. I'm just trying to not spend as much money. I'm tired of worrying each month whether I'm going to make enough, make enough money to cover, to cover what I've spent. You know what I'm saying? Because I pay my charge cards off every month. I don't carry over a balance. So, I'm being frugal where I can. All right. I kind of went ham with the concealer. I pulled out the Fenty in the Sun. I'm going to try to go a little more conservative with my bronzer and not do any contour at all. How about that? So we're just bronzing today. My The moisture mask I used prior to this makeup look has really got my face dewy and all my hair sticking to it. This one's called Into Sun. And here's how I'm going to do my nose. I'm going to flip it on the edge here. All right. Let's do mascara. I like the way my mascara turned out yesterday using the Seal Booster. Seal Booster. So I'm going to do that again today. I'm going to pile that on. This is by Lancome, and these are the little travel sizes. I have a couple of them. I think they were giving these away right smart there for a little while. Like everything had it in there. All the giveaways. Lancome sent me another letter. They want me to come to the counter for their gift with a purchase coming up in March. The uh, the special bully team won't be there, so I may do it. I may go, because there's something I want to try by. There's several things by Lancome that I use in my kit. I'm going to pull out my lash comb again. Alright, now. 
for my bottom lashes, I'm going to use the Cobalt Blue Mascara by L'Oreal. Like that. Then for the top, I'm going to use black. And I'm going to use the mascara that I used yesterday. It, it gave, gave a lot of bang. It was the... I hope they still sell it. It is the Stila Huge. And I'm probably going to have to comb through it afterwards. Those look good. That's looking real good. Okay. I'm going to take the La Mer powder today to set my face. And I'm going to use the Large Powder Brush F20. My face feels d too dewy and sticky. It's the, uh, it's the face mask I used prior to this and I left this and I just rubbed the serum in and then I'm going to put extra with my Tati Tati Blendiful I'm going to put extra under here alright now I need a blush I pulled out one that you probably can't get anymore, but you probably have it in your collection. It is the Laura Geller Baked Blush by Maui. <laughs> it's the baked blush in the color Maui. Put across, some across the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to take this highlight powder. It's, it's, from, it's a contour kit refill from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color sand. It's, it's got a satin finish. And I'm going to brush off the excess powder using my, I have a tapered powder brush. It's a, uh, I'm going to use this F25. This, this big fat one was F20. That was to pile on the powder. And the F25 is going to be to brush off the excess. There we go. Now let's do lips. I liked my lip combo yesterday. It was the Essence Pencil and Satin Mauve. I'm going to get make my Cupid's bow less deep. And widen a top lip. This is just what I'm doing now. This is what I'm into now. Tomorrow I could be into something different. Can y'all hear the birds all happy outside? So Pat and I are sleeping really, really good now. And I, what are we doing different? Well, the only thing that I've changed is instead of taking a D in the morning and a D at night, and we're taking the D3K2. Evidently, you have to have those two vitamins together for them to be beneficial. 
Penance by Berg, of course. And I also believe the brand matters. Anyway, we were taking one in the morning and one at night. And then we were taking one in the morning and one midday. And now we're taking two in the morning at about between eight and nine. And that seems to be the, that's the only thing I've changed. I, I'm not saying that's the reason we're sleeping better. I'm just saying we are sleeping better and that's what I've changed recently. All right, I'm gonna take one of these Powder Kiss lipsticks and this color is called Sultriness. It's not what I intended, but it'll work. This color looks good with purple eyes. I like that. It looks velvety, doesn't it? My Maui's not showing up enough. Where is that? Let's do some more. Okay. And I want to highlight on my cheekbones. Let's use Opal from Becca. I like that. I like it because it gives it that wet look. My inspiration was Valentine candies, little message candies. So I combined purples and pinks on my lids. I used the Cobalt Blue Mascara from L'Oreal on my bottom lashes and then a black mascara on the top lashes. I have a baby wing. Oh, I do like to add this every time. This is the Sigma Inner Rim Liner. It's called Final Touch inner rim brightener i think that always adds a lot and then the mauve liner by essence and the powder kiss by mac in the color sultriness and i added i did not add a gloss to the bottom lip i added the natasha denona chroma crystal liquid eyeshadow in the color i'll have to put it in the description box i can't see it um i hope you enjoyed this look and that you are inspired to oh what is my highlight oh yeah the highlight was the becca I hope this inspires you to try something new today and shop your stash. Y'all have a great day and happy Valentine's.